Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Well, I hope you guys are watching. Yeah, we're in the dress. <laughs> you see Samara like bouncing in the corner? That's not what she would do. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. You do, actually. I think I did do this mission once when I didn't have enough um, Paragon or Renegade or something. And you end up kind of being... You can kind of delay it, but you kind of end up being in her thrall. And I think then Samara can show up as long as you stall long enough. Um, but also one time I did... I did just, you know, I saved beforehand and I did the... Um, the sleep with her option and you die. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering well, her. thank you, Samara. Jeez. <laughs> How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That will require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. But I feel like if I just drop those particular hints, um, and act so soon after she just murdered somebody with whom she talked about all this stuff with, uh, she's gonna she would be suspicious, I feel like, but let's get started. Shepard, we only get one Listen, chance. Listen, I know. Any mistake and Morinth will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Ah, uh, that trust is... It actually means a lot, honestly. I realize I'm not as old as Morinth, or as old as Samara, but having, like, two, you know, mature... If Shepard's mature in my mind. I think she's technically, like, 25 or something, or 28. No, I don't know. She's, like, 25. But I see Shepard is more, like, in her, like, late 20s or 30s, so... It's just nice to have somebody, like, an older, like, austere woman respect you. Do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. Mm. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago, talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Yeah, okay. Are you sure this is where you want to be? Me? Let's see, I think I can get in a fight with that guy. No, I can talk to him. Oh, this guy's harassing. Come on, baby. Yeah. I can pay. I'm a good tipper, too. I told you to stay away from me. It ain't hard to get. Give it up, baby. I'm sold. Leave me alone! She's in a sorry. She could, like, crush him. Don't be like that. I got creds. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. 
You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. Bye. <laughs> the lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good stuff. Oh my gosh, she is gonna just. I wish I could see myself beating the crap out of him. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. She's employed here, so she probably can't, like, you know, just crush the man with biotics, but here we can dance awkwardly. Hey. Hey. I'll dance next to you. If you yes. we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I hate this. It's so wrong. <laughs> oh, she just T poses at me afterwards. Uh, What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. In the shadows. Why don't you come sit In the me? shadows. Yeah, woo. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? She's walking around in freaking Asari commando armor. Um, I think I can do the paragon. You and I want the same things. Do we? Just a cars. Family. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like they share some interests. Mm. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? I know what I like. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Watch the violent ones. I think these work, uh, but it's just, I, I'm not actually sure. I usually just do all the options that are, you know, right there for you. <laughs> Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially space exploration. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Mm. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? <laughs> I want you alone. <laughs> She's like, wow, you just said everything exactly the way I want to hear it. Distract Morant. Oh, don't eat my soul, please. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Ah, she's gonna eat me! Why are there so many Krogan statues around? A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. Yeah. It didn't end the way he hoped. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. She's crazy. Bed, oh, oh my. 
I feel like usually, but I feel like this would actually take a couple days to like lure her in, you know, and not uh. Yes. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. I feel like so she's supposed to like the hunt, right? I feel like her just taking me on after like one conversation is a little rushed, but realistically I can't spend like eight, three in-game days trying to seduce her, so this is fine. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Safety is a lot. Yes, Morin. Yeah, you can get... If you don't have enough Paragon or Renegade, you can end up you end up doing that path. You have to. Like, there's no other way. People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Whoa, can't. Blah, blah. Don't count on it. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime is being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari. But they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. I don't know why you would honestly like side with Morinth. Like she's just a ticking time bomb. You know? And you can take her onto your ship, and then you can have sex with her, and she will kill you. Like, that's just, the, it's the game over screen and everything happens, you know? Uh, and on, on my Renegade run, I did keep her with me um, at one point, just because to try it out. But it's just like, also this pose is super epic on both of them. But more it's like a serial sex murderer. Like, it doesn't make any sense. And she's the genetic destiny of the Asari. Like, she just kills everybody, you know? I don't know, so make sure I don't mess up. Uh, kill Morinth. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> She's trying to garner sympathy. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? I do wish that, like, she could have expressed some of her regrets to Morinth. Because the way she talks about Morinth to me is, like, she's heartbroken over, like, what she sees as partly her fault, but also her daughter's choices, you know? And instead she runs in and is like, You are nothing but a disease to be purged! But I almost wonder if she has to say that. Because if she allows herself to say any of the words that she has that are built up inside of her about the regret and the grief, that she might stay in her hand. You know what I mean? Like, for, even for a moment, and then Morinth would escape again, you know? So, But it's still, I do wish she could have said something more kind. I don't know. Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Yeah. Doppelganger, nice. 
And that right there, that's so telling, right? Where she says, I kill I just killed the bravest and the smartest of my daughters. Like there's there's so much to Samara that I just oh I love it so much. Like her and Thane are my favorites in Mass Effect 2. Even apparent bonds of oath, better than hope, Cerberus activities will not be affected further. Unfortunately, body of Arda Yakshi could not be taken for study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. Subject expertise would have made her a valuable team member if sociopathic tendencies were mitigated. I don't think you could do that. What am I supposed to do? Like, throw victims at her? <laughs> you know? Yee. Is this, uh, out? How do I get out? Let me out. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's sad. It's really sad. And Samara will say, she says more about it when we go talk to her, and it's, you get to see the full breadth and depth of her grief, you know? But also, like, I don't know, the peace that she achieves, I guess, in finally fulfilling her mission. Shepard's supposed to be dead. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. That line sticks with me, like, everywhere I go. I don't know, I just, just the way she says it, like, I don't know, it's really, like, I guess you could be like, it's like cliche, but like, it, considering the situation, I feel like it's very apropos. Did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. It's so hard to hear her voice. Like, she sounds like she's about to cry. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for a sorry. She makes like a good point, right? Where it's like this is not a, it's not necessarily a black and white situation. Like, yes, Morinth did terrible things, but also like Samara recognizes that like to be just because you were born with a genetic defect, you are forced to like live in isolation and like never see the world, never travel, never love, never do anything that like is living, you know? And Morinth didn't want that. She wanted to be free, you know? And like at the co it was going to be at the cost of other people. But like she made that choice, right? And like she stuck with it and like there is a there is like despite like the horror of the situation and that she let herself like be consumed, like she couldn't help but be consumed by by her desires after a while you know that was just like the nature of the disease essentially is that like it just kept feeding off of itself but like she didn't she didn't want to live that secluded you know nun life she wanted to live so it's just it, it's interesting that samara sees that and like recognizes that and it only tears her heart and like your heart you know even more to know that she sees that and still knows that she has to kill her own daughter with her own hands you know was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. 
What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. It makes sense. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Yeah, that too, right? <laughs> I, I forgot that part, but they're like they're sterile, and they kill people that they sleep with. Like, you're not, you're not gonna have a very viable population that way. You don't want to settle down. I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Ugh. Oh, let's double check this. I think we're good, but... Shepard. Do you have any suggestions about I have done what I can to increase mm. our exploration capability. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. Mm -hmm. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. I should go. I should go. Oh, anyway, there's that mission. One of my one of my more favorites, but that's also because I like Samara. But I like the missions where you don't necessarily have combat, and it's more of a you know, like it's not necessarily Shepard's forte, but it is fun to like shake things up a little bit. So, um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. We're getting there. We're getting close to being done with everybody's personal missions, and then we'll probably do some DLCs, honestly. Mm, but. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest. It's mowing day again. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot it's Monday. No. Anyway, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And uh, thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.